In Fort St. John, the trucks vastly outnumber the pedestrians. Oil and gas is the main industry, and people come to find work here, many from neighboring Alberta. On the streets, there's one topic many avoid. It's vaccines for sure, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, opinions on either side, and it's created a lot of heat within our community. Um, that's all I have to say. The vaccination rate in the region is the lowest in the province. Just over half the population is fully vaccinated. I don't trust the doctors or nurses what they're saying. I, and it, they always change it, always, daily. On the news, it's changed, it's changed, it's changed. Get it straight. As the Delta variant spreads in the region, health officials say unvaccinated people are filling intensive care wards. The province says hospitals in the Northern Health region, like this one in Fort St. John, no longer have enough capacity to deal with the number of patients with COVID-19. Critically ill patients are being flown as far away as Vancouver Island to receive care. This strain on the health care system is what keeps local MLA Dan Davies up at night. We are at, you know, and in, in, in my opinion, on the verge of collapse uh, here in the Northeast regarding health care. Uh, we have a, a critical shortage. In fact, it's even beyond a critical shortage of nursing staff. Um, our doctors are burnt out. Is it up there to be done there? At this pharmacy, there's a daily battle to win people over through long, thoughtful conversations about vaccines and the science behind them. Anytime someone says, well, I've done my research, when I try to find out what that means, it usually means looking on the internet. For some people, the choice is now a financial one. Some oil and gas companies are mandating their workers get vaccinated. I know I'll get my shots. Yeah, I will, because I want to work, you know. <laughs> and, but honestly, it sucks. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Fort St. John, British Columbia.